my last day, I knew it was really bad because I went to the grocery store and like, you can like hear yourself on the cobblestones for blocks. Nobody else is around. Simply put, former Gonzaga guard Jordan Matthews has a story to tell. The hero from the West Virginia game went overseas post-college and this year was playing pro ball in Italy. That's where he found himself in the epicenter of a silent but deadly storm. We kept hearing, no, it's not that serious, it's not that serious. It's not that serious, but we're going to make it a yellow zone. It's not that serious, but we're going to make the city a red zone. Okay, you can't leave. Like that's what that was the progression. Jordan Matthews witnessed the progression of the coronavirus, unlike almost anyone else in the U.S. I just heard our game was being canceled, like our first game. And I was like, OK, like it'll blow over. We're supposed to play Venice. They'll delay it a week. We're back to normal. Then the day we were supposed to play our game against Cantu, they canceled that, too. And that's when I knew it was becoming something that was like something that was spreading out of control because like they would never cancel games in Italy. Like they were like, you know, like under any circumstance, they would never cancel games. So for them to cancel them, it became really bad. Our city was actually the worst. Cremona, where Jordan lived, currently has the fourth most cases of any city in Italy. The top five cities for cases all reside in the province Cremona is in, Lombardia. My phone wouldn't show up the news in English because I was in Italy, it would be in, in Italian. And I kept on saying Cremona, Cremona, Cremona. And I was like, uh, okay. And then I come over here and it's like, no, Cremona is like bad. But being in Italy was only the beginning of the story. Matthews had to get back to the States. His flight was just a few hours after Trump announced the European travel ban. My flight from uh, Frankfurt, Germany to LA was not full at all. It was like 30% full. And then a couple hours later, I checked again and it was 100% full. We were supposed to leave for the airport at 2 a.m. And we leave, and then once we get to, once we got to the airport, everything just became like much different. Like it was like you have to sign these papers. Why are you leaving? Where are you going? Like, why are you going there? And it's like it was much different than what we thought it was going to be the night before. Being back in the states has also been weird for him. It's been a bit of a deja vu experience. I feel like I'm living everything twice. It's just the U.S. is just two weeks behind here because we were in. We were in quarantine and lockdown uh, right before I left. Like, I didn't leave the house for five days. Jordan is definitely thankful to be back home, but that doesn't stop him from missing what he left. Do I miss it? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. It's only been a week, too, but I do miss it. I miss the, I miss, like, just being around the team. I miss our games. The games are so fun. They're crazy. Like, um, and just just the competitive level of the league is, is really fun, so I miss it a lot. Jordan says he believes at least two of his teammates were infected with the virus. Tom Whitney.